Hi, I'm Dr. Zaidi. Uh, about 20 years ago, I got interested in uh, uh, things uh, other than uh, regular medicines to help my patients. So, first I got interested in vitamin D and I uh, realized it has huge uh, health benefits. So over the years, uh, my treatment strategy is more, much more comprehensive now. Uh, I've realized that stress management is extremely important for taking care of our health. Uh, diet is extremely important, exercise is important, and vitamins and minerals, very important. And medications, uh, if and when necessary. So this is my uh, comprehensive treatment approach now. So, uh, along these lines, uh, I keep uh, looking into uh, any possible uh, treatment uh, approaches. A few months ago, I got interested in uh, essential oils. And uh, I've been uh, experimenting with uh, essential oils and uh, let me share with you my journey uh, with this. Uh, it was about four or five months ago. Uh, I ordered uh, this equipment uh, on eBay. It came from China in a big box. All these things were there and there were no instructions how to assemble them. So anyone who is interested there, uh, I'm going to share how I did it. So it should be a little easier for you. I had to call my engineer friend to figure it out. <laughs> but together we figured it out. It's not that hard actually. So, this is right here, let me show this. So this is the heater and uh, this rod comes separate, you have to put that in this on one end, just push it in. These are various clamps, so first you put this clamp, just assemble these clamps together, put this in. This is the, the bottom flask, <coughs> put that in, so we're going to move it a little further. And then here is this clamp and with that you tighten it. This is the other flask. Oh, there's water in it. All right. That goes on top of it. And then there's this assembly on this side. I did that already, so I'm going to show you how I did that. So here is the other clamp. So you put that. And these two things are not in the same direction as you can see they are at right angle. This clamp is in this direction and this clamp is in this direction. So, so again you know here is this clamp, put it in, tighten it really good and then on this end of this clamp is the condenser. This is the condenser. So you put that in. Tighten it really good. Okay. And then uh, this condenser, you need to attach this to this oil separator. And then uh, there are these rubber clamps. Important thing about them, uh, they have uh, uh, two rings. The top one uh, the smaller ring should be on the top and the bottom sh should be, uh, the bigger ring should be at the bottom. So this is the right direction of it. Don't do it this way. Wait, you're moving too fast. <laughs> okay, so this is the right direction. Yeah. The smaller uh, ring should be upward. Okay. And this is the wrong direction. Okay. So just... Show, show it to us this way. Okay, and then turn slowly. This is the wrong way. 
Okay. And this is the right way. Okay. And then you go in there and voila, there it goes. Same with, there are these uh, other clamps like that, same with here. Like that, okay? Okay. So, now uh, I'm gonna take this off for a minute. Comes off. Be very careful. This can break real easy. It's all glass. Okay, you go there. All right. So today I'm gonna make uh, rosemary oil. So I got some of this rosemary from our backyard. Cut it into pieces like this, and here it's ready. But before that. I'm gonna put some water in this. Mystery lab in your kitchen. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna add a little more. So I've added some more water here. So just about this much water, about two third uh, full. And uh, now I'm gonna put this, the other flask, right here on top of it. And this rubber clamp goes right here. And I'm gonna fill this with this rosemary. Okay, so it filled up but we need to compact it down so just something like this from your kitchen and just compact it down a little bit see right. we have much more room here now uh, some of the benefits of uh, rosemary oil are it's, uh, it's an antioxidant and it's good for your memory. Also, uh, good for hair growth and uh, good for prostate health. Well, I have to ask, is that how your hair got so good? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I've never used it uh, in my hair. Oh. And, uh, well, my, the secret to my healthy hair, uh, number one, genetics, good genetics. My dad had good hair. Uh, although I have the best hair out of all of my brothers, so I think it's more than genetics. I think the biggest factor for my healthy hair is my stress-free living, uh, good diet. I don't color my hair. I think uh, hair colors uh, are harmful for your hair. I also don't shampoo my hair every day. And uh, I put some uh, coconut oil or jojoba oil in my hair periodically. So here you have it, secret to my healthy hair. Okay. And uh, it's almost full here. Let's see. 
So this is also good for prostate health, you were saying. It's good for prostate health, yeah. So the thing with essential oils, true essential oil is, they are very concentrated. All you need is uh, one or two drops, actually. So... Uh, do you for, rub rub them on or uh -huh. okay? So for hair growth, what you do have a couple of uh, essential oil uh, drops. Mix them with uh, coconut oil or jojoba oil and rub it in your scalp. For prostate health, again, you know, two drops of uh, uh, this oil, rosemary oil, essential oil, and then you can uh, put that in uh, jojoba oil little bit about it, tablespoon, and uh, rub it uh, uh, behind your testes. And uh, so yeah, for most essential oil actually, they are so concentrated, all you need is a couple of drops. Because all you get is very little amount, you're going to see that at the end of this experiment. Okay. Anyway, so here we are. Now this is uh, pretty good, I think this is enough. Yeah, and uh, so this is the bridge or connector, there it goes, here is this, here is this clamp, again same way, uh, this is the, this should be up, the smaller uh, circle up, this is the right way, this is the wrong way. Okay. So here another rubber clamp goes plastic clamp goes up here and over here there is this special clamp this is a metallic clamp and there it is you just tighten it there's a screw here you just tighten it okay okay now this is the condenser uh, so what's going to happen, uh, this will uh, get really hot, steam will be forming here, it will be going through uh, uh, this rosemary and uh, vapors will be forming and then vapors will go through this, through here and then uh, cold water will condense it back into water. Now uh, for this uh, cold water, we have these two tubings, so you hook one over here, the other one over here, and you need to have a little uh, pump. So the one at the bottom, okay, is just water, is because I took it off, so the air is going through. So what's happening is that you need to connect this one, the one on, that is connected to a pump, mm -hmm. this tubing should go here at the bottom because we need to fill it up from the bottom. Okay. And then water comes out from here back into this little tub. So it's loose. Okay. So it's, that is loose. Okay. And so the top is loose, the bottom is connected. Right. And uh, we're going to add some uh, ice here and you keep doing that periodically just add some ice and let's see make sure that this is closed here this is open this is closed okay make sure this is closed okay and uh, so as you can see, uh, this thing has this overflow and uh, at, in the end, this is where we're going to get essential oil right here. Okay. But you will see the distillate is a whole lot more than the essential oil. Essential oil is just very tiny amount. Okay. So what happens, this thing will get filled up and then this is the overflow. So here we're going to put some containers so the overflow gets in there. So I usually just put some uh, cup there. Let's see. Okay. So just a regular cup. Make sure it's directly down here. And uh, we are all set. Voila.
Now I'm gonna connect this. Let's plug. Plug it in. Okay, there we go. And plug. This is the other one for the pump. The pump has plug a plug in. too. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna turn it on. Let's see. So here it is. I'm gonna initially get it all the way up to maximum, which is six. All right. And then we'll come back and see. All right. In a little bit. Okay, welcome back. Now this process is going on, let's say, for about a little over two hours. And as you can see, a lot of steam is coming up from here. It's going through rosemary. Uh, and then uh, the steam uh, takes all the essential oil with it. And here is the steam going through. And when it comes here, here is the condenser. Uh, coal. Due to the cold water and it condenses uh, that steam back into the water as well as oil. So there is that little oil you are seeing on the surface, that's the oil. Just this little thin layer. Oh that's God. all you get, pretty much. That is a very thin layer. That's it, that's pretty much what you get. So that makes you realize uh, why these uh, true essential oils are so expensive. And uh, the real true essential oil should be very expensive. If you're getting some cheap essential oil, it's not really pure, as you can see. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna let it continue another four hours or so. And uh, as you can see, uh, bring it over here. So this is the distillate coming all the way and uh, this is the overflow right okay. here. This is just the overflow. Okay. And it, it is very scented. And yeah. you, you can use it. I use it in cooking or this and that. It's nicely scented. Scented water, you could call it. And right on the top, this is the oil. And at the end, I will show you how to get this oil. Uh, that oil I get in these kind of bottles, you can, okay. get, you can label it. And you get these bottles. I got them from Amazon. Uh, very okay. cheap. I, I think it was... Uh, a dozen bottles for about uh, ten dollars or something like that. Okay. And uh, you also need to check this water periodically. I mean, it's getting a little warm. Periodically, you need to put in some ice. Usually, about every half an hour or so, add a little bit of oil. Uh, you mean ice? Ice. <laughs> you said that? oil. <laughs> oh, essential oil on my head. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you need to keep adding some ice in the bucket so this water stays cool and you can also feel it here if it starts getting warm yes and that's a sign you need to put some more ice okay so this should stay cool okay okay we'll see you later okay, okay so now i'm gonna show you how to uh, get this essential oil that we worked so hard for six hours to get it so first i'm gonna just open this here Going down. Going down. Going down. I'm slowing it down so I have more control. I've slowed down a lot. There it comes. Here. I'll stop it now. All the water is gone and this is it. This is the oil. This is the essential oil. And there it went. Let's get every drop here. <laughs> okay. All right. I hope you <coughs> I hope you enjoyed it and good luck.